carrying on the video, another short one. I'm joining all these together. Now, last year, quite often I do this before the schools break up, actually, because normally I'm bumping into the little groups of, they send them off in small groups of uh, six or eight, and they have to do map and compass, and they have to carry all their gear. But in the summer holidays, you do get, I can hear somebody now in the valley, uh, you do get um, these adventure people. Uh, they It's a holiday thing, and they have people that take them out walking, doing map and compass, uh, camping, field work, and all that sort of thing. So we could we could bump into groups of students. Sometimes I, they look like they come from abroad, but you can. I've not explored that where they come from. They often come from right down there. I haven't actually explored that way from Barrington Coombe. There's lots of things I haven't done um, because it's basically all to do with time when I'm already on a mission. Uh, if I do a diversion now, say, I'd have to cut out Velvet Bottom because there wouldn't be time. Hello, little tree. Back again. I have videoed this before, by the way. I don't know what it would be called, but it would probably be called um, a Mendip Walk or, I don't know, a, a Cheddar Circular, Winscombe Circular. I mean, now I do it from Churchill. Some more of the coom there, covered up. I've, I have walked in the woods all around there as well in the past. Like I said, there's a coom down there, which I've never walked. But I do believe it's another way that you can use coming up through that, up through there. I'll probably, I'll more than likely bump into them in a minute. Now we've got to go down, but then we have to go up. There is some hill work. Now those people could be right down there, and they might be making their way up here, or they might make their way towards the stream, which could be dry. I'm half expecting it to be dry, but it can be full. What's good about this walk as well, let's take the hat off for a minute, is there are times when it is exposed, later on in the walk definitely, and there's times when you've got lots of shade. Like I said, I've videoed it many times really over the years. Events in the world, well last night I watched the opening ceremony of the I don't know if it's 122nd or the 22nd Commonwealth Games being hosted by the city of Birmingham. An absolute brilliant display, almost as good as the Olympics in 2012 in London. Very, very colourful. Right, before I carry on with that, here we are. We're at a very, very dried up stream. Which does happen here. I've got pictures of the stream running through here. It does look a bit damp down there. Some people walk up through it. But normally, you're, when it's full, you're tiptoeing over the water here. You see what I mean? You're tiptoeing so you don't get your feet muddy. Same here. I've got some lovely images of the water flowing here. And flowing down trickling and making music as it comes. I've been up that and down that track. Again, that one leads you to a very steep climb and very jungly. Very ferny, a bit dodgy. But this is, when it rains and in the winter this will be covered in water. You wouldn't believe it now would you? These trees are hanging on for dear life. I'll just take a picture. Moving out. Well, all I know is it's got to be midday sun. So I'm not going to look at the time yet. I don't like being dominated, but because I'm doing quite a big walk, I've got to do pacing. 
that's how I, I do stop and talk to people and uh, you can add time on for that lovely flower lovely little butterfly there as well look I've read Edmore I think isn't it yeah oh aren't you lovely over beyond the bush because I'm short we've got I've taken some pictures of Barrington Coombe again now I just met a couple they come from, they parked at the Swan Pub at Roborough and then they decided to go for a walk and uh, they walked to the trig point along the top somehow they've come off I think they've somehow ended up in Barrington Coombe and uh, then they got lost but they were they were sort of going to get there. I said, so just go up, follow the track to the processional route. It's a big wide track. That I was telling everyone about a minute ago. I said, get on that, and you'll have to go up because it's too complicated to help you get through the Warren. Because a Warren is a Warren, and I didn't want to send them into the Warren, and they ended up going around in circles. So unfortunately for them, they'd have to go right up the top and pick up where they left off. Because they walked along the top earlier. But she had some water, I noticed. He and she had a hat on. Um, he couldn't wait to get to the pub. Now, I don't know if that pub shuts. But uh, they, the thing is, you can get carried away walking, can't you? Oh God, let's go to the trick point. Oh, let's go over there. And before you know it, it's hot. You've got hills to climb. Right, when they were walking along the top there, could have been several hours ago before really hot. Now they got, they had, they could go into the Warren, but I can't, I couldn't direct them there. It, they could get lost. So I directed them over to where they would become familiar. They just have to take their time. Now I think they were talking about Tynion's farm actually when they said they saw a house or something. Right, over and out for a minute folks. Right, back on again. I might be showing this in bits. Um, so I'm um, walking one of the lower paths on the area of Outstanding Beauty across the road from Burrington Coombe and its geological wonder. It's the peak of summer, it's July the 29th, 2022. And like I was saying, there was the opening ceremony of the 22nd Common Commonwealth Games at Birmingham. Duke of Ed, not Duke of Ed, um, Prince Charles and Camilla were there to, to represent the Queen. They had a a torch to light, which is an electronic thing I think it was, rather than real flames, uh, which was very spectacular. They had various procession of all the countries of the Commonwealth coming into the stadium. Duran Duran played a couple of tunes at, towards the end. Duran Duran from sort of uh, Prince Charles's era, I suppose, really, and four local Birmingham lads in the beginning. So they had the honour of performing. We're all getting on a bit now, like we all are. They did play one of David Bowie's songs, which I was really pleased about. As the England were coming in, um, into the ground, in all their red and everything, um, they played Let's Dance by David Bowie. And they played it all, and I thought that was great. And uh, today the kickoff is, there's lots of things going on today. It goes on for 11 days. I'm mentioning it, that's why I record things in my videos. Uh, otherwise, it's just a walk. But if you refer to events, you can... Sometimes it helps you remember back into when you look at these later. Oh yeah, you can say, I remember the Commonwealth Games. 
Um, I've had a number of retired athletes there, like Thomas, Tom Daly, who isn't retired, but he, I don't think he was, I'm not sure if he was actually going to be in the Commonwealth Games, but he did carry the torch for a little while. Um, he's got gold medals, he's been swimming since he was a small boy. I've watched him grow and develop over the years. Um, he's married now to a, another athlete, I think, and a man, and they have a little son. Um, which is the times now. In fact, this year, I think it's going to be the first time that the colours of um, is it LBGT or something, the uh, col rainbow colours of um, gay, lesbian and other people uh, are being represented. There's also disabled people. What it is they're doing this time, they are combining everyone together and they're not having separate games that everyone's in the same games basically the wheelchair people will compete against wheelchair people but they're not being isolated as any different to anyone else who's got limbs so that's a big change for equality um, I do believe though that if a man is changed into a woman because he feels he, he's got the right to, but I, I think they're saying at the moment they're not going to allow them to run as a woman because of the, the huge hormone difference. It would give him an advantage and, and it could actually put women out that should really be fight, uh, running against their own equal hormone people. But I suppose after a lot of treatment, their hormones will start to fade on the people that change. Now here we've got, this is the Eastling, or East something. This one has got a little bit of water, it's deeper into the hills. And as you can see, it has got, it's cooler here as well. It's steeper, the banks are steeper, so stuff can drain off easier, I think. Um, the other one was the Westling, or West something. That's what I'm calling them at the moment because I haven't got the map on me. And we've got a bit of water. We should be getting some rain tomorrow that will freshen everything up. So that's rather nice. I've seen it when it's been um, really busy with water, but it's a little bit there trickling, that. It's lovely, isn't it? People sit and bathe their feet here. I'm just going to turn off and take a picture now. I've done quite a bit on this particular video. I've got to climb up a bit again now as well. Just go around there one more time. I'm going following that path up there. Up we go. It's a lovely day. I'm enjoying it. I'm trying to maintain some, some heat, some cool while I can. Over and out. <laughs> 